Oh dear. <laughs> We've just been talking for five minutes. <laughs> We th we're using new software and we've got lots of computers running and screens, so this could be a technical nightmare. And we were just uh, talking for a good, good few minutes, getting everyone yeah. warmed up, and yeah. then we <laughs> realised there's no one in the chat saying hello. So if you can hear us now, um, say hello with the chat, because um, <laughs> otherwise we don't know if we're streaming properly, because we haven't done it this way before. Good evening, everyone. Time for the jingle. Sincerely hope it's playing. <laughs> oh, yeah. We can't uh, hear that, so you'll have to let us know if you can hear that little song. Because, uh, like I said, we have not used this software before, and this is the first quiz and first time using it. So, <laughs> fingers crossed we make it to the end. Um, so, what we're going to do whilst everyone filters in is just... Um, sorry, we're, gonna, we're distracted. There's chat over there. We're, we can see ourselves over here. It's very, very confusing. It's all happening. It's all happening. <laughs> Oh dear, but yeah, we hope you're all well. We hope you've got a beverage. If it's a hot one, if it's an alcoholic beverage, go for it. Um, That's it, we've got a cool cider because it's quite warm in here at the minute, isn't it? We've got the fire going and we're a bit like whenever we go live, you get a bit hot. In yeah, here. turtleneck might not have been the best option <laughs> for me. Yeah. And if anyone in the chat there? I like your hair. Yeah, I'm having issues with it. I thought I'd try and grow it out. Not really intentionally, I just haven't been to the barbers and it's uh I've just washed it so it's particularly yeah, We both had <laughs> pre live quiz showers. Just a little bit of an overshare, <laughs> but we all know that you like that sort of stuff. <laughs> uh, Bruce says I'm looking like I'm returning uh are reuniting the Beatles. Funnily enough, might be a question about that later. Sit on that one, Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna chat for a few minutes while the um while the stream fills up a bit and we'll go through the rules and everything which we try to make it straightforward as we can um this is kind of like going to be a bit of a test just to see how it works so we'd like to do more stuff like this i think it's fun especially whilst um people are still locked down and it's cold and dark outside anyway so people are going to be indoors and ramping up towards christmas so we thought it'd be a nice thing to do for everybody and mainly have a bit of fun Yes, it's been a long time since <laughs> I've uh, whacked out the PowerPoint presentation, but uh, as you can see, the uh, skills has not really developed since GCSE. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's a bit of a struggle, but I think we've, I think we've got it working, so we'll, we'll, we'll find out. Uh, just got some comments there yeah. on the Aldi beer, yeah. Meg. Yeah, well, both of us. Both of us have got <laughs> yeah, the, the lovely Taurus. It's not the best, is it? But um, you drink it happy enough. Thank yeah, you very it does much. Does the job? Uh, hello, fantastic traveling. Hello, fitness forest. Um, coming in from Spain. Hope you're having a nice time. Tony Law, which is Douglas's papa, is live tonight with us. Yeah, Douglas, you might be able to hear him snoring because he's just by the side of us. You've got to have your moment, boy. <laughs> There he is. He's still here. We haven't walked his legs off yet. <laughs> He's very sleepy though. Oh, oh Douglas. Oh, darling. Go back down the <laughs> Definitely not on the sofa. Oh, Bruce has got his heater on. Ideal. No sequin jackets, unfortunately. I, yeah. did, I did say Play. about that though. I thought that'd be quite fun. It wasn't in the budget, unfortunately. <laughs> And we only have one pair of glasses that you may have seen in our little uh, thumbnail. We didn't. We don't have a pair of glasses each, unfortunately. Oh, Matthew! Hello, hello, guys! They're drinking the bottle of port that they got oh, from Porto. Oh, that ours went a long time ago, yeah, didn't it? We enjoyed that as well. Thanks to my dad. He, he, he <laughs> wasn't just your dad. Well, I'm blaming it on him. <laughs> right. So we'll just. It's only two minutes past. So sorry. We'll just filibuster for a few more minutes. Um, we don't know how many people are going to join in, but anyone that wants to play, we want to make sure that they're in uh, the stream, live, ready to go. Hello, Anna. Live from Hampshire. Any soft... Uh, no, Bruce, there's no software required. We, we tried to keep it as simple as we could, and we'll explain that in a couple of minutes. Yeah. Um, pen and paper will do the job uh, beautifully. Yeah. Really, so. We've got a couple of options. One's a bit more technical than the other, but will help us with the marking. That's another thing, because depending on how many of you are playing along tonight, we've got to sit and mark all of the answers, um, which might, depending on how many there is, it might take quite a long time. So we shall see. 
That's right. I mean, we, we, we do trust you guys, but we just, you know, because there's prizes on offer, only small ones, but there are prizes. So we just wanted to make it as fair as we possibly could. Evening, Phil and Sarah. Lovely to see you. Oh, more love for the hair. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like a Lego hair. I don't actually see it out of the hat very often anymore, so it's quite a shock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's trying to grow it out. Um, but it's we've got he's got to get past the awkward stage. And that's my life, I think, <laughs> is the awkward stage. <laughs> oh. Sorry. Oh, Philip Rogers. Hello, hello. I hope you're playing along. Got your pen and paper ready. Um, yeah, Mr. W. Did you say Mr. W? Good evening. Yeah, Mr. Nice W. Nice to see you in the chat. Scandy Van's here. Hello, dude. Hope oh. it's uh, nice where you are at the moment. Today it was really foggy where we were and it was quite spooky. What, mm. did, what did we decide? About 10 metres visibility? Yeah, less than that at some mm. point. It was a nice, nice day today. Not too cold. Yeah, the log fire's on. Um, I've started putting the Christmas decorations up. Have you guys started the same? I am feeling... Slightly festive. It's starting to build up. I mean, you had the Michael Bublé on. Oh, Bublé's <laughs> out of its cave. Its cave. His cave. His cave. <laughs> oh, yes, they've spotted Teddy Ralph does have some friends tonight, which could potentially be up for grabs. Hold your horses. We're getting far <laughs> too ahead of ourselves. Right, it's four minutes past. Should we give it another minute of chit-chat, or shall we get into it? Yeah, another minute or so, I think. We've been streaming for six minutes after the false start that we had. Um, so I'm just doing that. Yeah, so you'll have to let us know once we start the quiz. You should be able to see us um, on the screen at the same time as the presentation. Uh, we're really relying on that working. Otherwise, this could be a bit more tricky, <laughs> especially the picture rounds. <laughs> <laughs> so you just let us know um, once I swap the view that everything's working and correct you're a tech wizard everything will be fine uh, all uh, of this techie stuff is all down to callum i have literally I done feel a powerpoint like... presentation <laughs> i'm not passing the blame yeah, i feel <laughs> like this isn't a compliment this is this no, is a pass in the back this is this is you've done this <laughs> i've done bits but you've done this a lot uh, yourself so i want to say well done and thank you for making <laughs> this happen if it does happen okay <laughs> We'll see. A couple more comments because people are saying hello, hello. Oh, hello Simon, hello. Salisbury. And there was uh, Living Light. And, was that Essex? Oh, the chat's just skipped on, sorry. We're a bit delayed, aren't T5 we? is in the house. Hope you guys are doing well. Happy birthday for the other day. Sharon's in. Need pen and paper. Yeah. Well done, yeah. Cal. <laughs> the, the fire's on, so the fleece isn't out tonight. We've yeah. just, you've just got a hoodie. I'm going to have to dust that off soon. It's been a while. Cow's oh. under the bus. <laughs> <laughs> right then. Right, so... Let's switch that screen. I'm going to do a jingle. Yeah. Can you hear that? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Right, still playing. <laughs> Can you hear that jingle? Because we can't. Um, and it's just meant to be a bit fun. But if we're just dancing in silence, that's going to be highly awkward. Um, so that'll be the first technical glitch. If you can't hear that, the chat. Okay, yeah. perfect. Go, go, go. That's step one. So if you press the secret button, we should change our view. I can't remember what the secret button is, unfortunately. <laughs> You'll have to do that one. <laughs> Oh. Okay. Woohoo! That almost went wrong. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully, um, again, we're just going to need a bit of confirmation. Can you see us on the screen? Can you hear us? And can you see the blue um, presentation of what we're going to be talking about? Yeah, it's working apparently. Oh. Okay. All good, all good. Okay. <laughs> Your mum sat poised with her Baileys. <laughs> Beck, come on, you're going to get this tonight. I can feel it in my waters. <laughs> okay. Right then. Right. So, we're just going to go through the rules, the prizes, and how this is going to go, hopefully. So, how to play. 
Um, option one is the more technical route. Um, so you can go and have this live stream open on your phone or on the laptop or have it split screen. And on our website at www.campcomforts.co.uk forward slash quiz hyphen night, there'll be a little form on there and you have to put in your uh, a username and email and then you fill in the answers as we go. And then after each round, you have to press submit and then you'll do that for each round to the five rounds. Yeah, five rounds, 10 questions. That's a bit more techie, but in a way that's going to help us mark it, mm -hmm. mark it all together. But then option two is old school pen and paper or write it in like a, a draft message or um, your iPhone notes and then send that at the end of the quiz with your questions one to 10, five times with your answers uh, to us either at vwflora at gmail.com or at uh, Facebook or mm -hmm. Instagram. But if you send it via Instagram, just be careful like how long the message will show for if it's a picture. Sometimes there's a time and we might struggle to see it for long enough to be able to mark it. So was that clear enough? Did I do that well enough? I think so, yeah. So pen and paper is probably going to be easiest for now, yeah. but then we just ask that you send it to us at the end once we've done all, all the questions, all the rounds, take a picture of it and send it to us because yeah. um, we we're, we're still figuring out what's the easiest way yeah. of doing this. Can, we, we definitely need to be able to see the, um, the answers clearly. So even if it's zoomed in a little bit and a couple of photos, but all at the end. Yeah. Um, I think Sharon said it's a bit blurry. Has it got better? Hopefully it'll get a bit better. Yeah, Mr. W gets a bonus point for understanding our rules. We've tried to make it as simple as possible, but... Uh, can we do what we can? Hopefully it's, hopefully it's a bit clearer now. Anyway, so that's how to play. <laughs> yeah, sorry, we keep getting distracted with the chat. Yeah, everything's cool there, okay. and not too blurry. Okay, that's good, good, good. So, the rules. Me and Meg, <laughs> the novice explorers, say what goes. So it's up to our discretion when we mark the answers. If, if we think you're, you're in the ballpark or if you're yeah. not, basically how we mark it, it's going to be fair. We're the quiz masters. We say what goes. Yeah. Uh, for those not using the website and doing it on pen and paper, um, as we said, submit all your answers in one go. It could be a couple of pictures if you've, if you've um, got a couple of pages, but um, send them all at the end just to make it easier. Number three should be obvious is no cheating. Obviously, we're all online at the moment, but um, we'd ask you to be upstanding. <laughs> yes, as Greg Walton said in one of the comments on our posts, I'm sure everyone in the community will have the integrity of the highest order. So don't let Greg down and cheat. <laughs> <laughs> I personally will be furious if I find out anyone's been cheating. Number, uh, number four is spelling. Do your best. It won't be judged because... I am really rubbish at spelling, yeah. and as long as you're in the ballpark again, we will give you the point. Yep, number five, please don't put any answers in the live chat, or try and put anyone off. If we have repeat offenders, we might have to block you for this live stream, just because we want everyone to have fun, and it's too tempting to look in the that's, chat. That's disciplinary and cal over <laughs> here, all right? <laughs> um, so... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all answers, um, f answer forms, sorry. All answer forms and photos must be sent within five minutes of the end of the quiz, but we'll give you a warning for that. Yep. And because me and Meg are marking it, and we don't really know how many people are playing in total, um, we're going to probably mark it all off stream tonight or tomorrow morning, and then we'll reveal the answers tomorrow night. That might not be as fun as marking it yourself. And maybe if we do this again, we'll figure out a way yeah. where we can do it live we'll see what people think at the end yeah. and what to do next time but in a way i think it's quite funny that we're going to see the answers and if we get some stonkers we might even read them out too yeah so yeah that's it for the rules um we'll just check the chat i'm i think i've seen a couple <clears throat> of people's batteries are dying or they've been their dinner's ready so sorry about our, our choice of timing it's probably not ideal for everybody it's saturday night entertainment though <laughs> mom's not watching strictly for us thanks mom <laughs> Right, um, then, is there anything else after? Oh, yeah, prizes. Yeah. So, prizes. This is just for fun, primarily, but we thought we'd incentivise it a little bit. So, up for grabs for the first prize, and the winner with the most points of, of the quiz is Teddy Ralph's chunky brother, Teddy Roger, which has been handcrafted. Um, 
By a family friend commissioned. Yes, whilst we were in Sardinia, I decided to ask if uh, someone could make it. So here we are. A beautiful, chunky Teddy Roger. <laughs> and I, hopefully these aren't too glaring. We've got some upgraded new vinyl stickers. These will be much more hard wearing than the old paper ones we had. Um, and these are from Darren at Castle Sticker Shack. And they're really good. We've just put one on our van a minute to test it in all this bad weather and it's doing really well. And um, because we know the paper ones do tend to fade and uh, the, the, they peel yeah. a little bit. So we'll get around to um, updating people who want new stickers at some point as well. And second prize is Teddy Robert. Tiny weeny version of Teddy Ralph is the baby of the family. And that will also come with new vinyl stickers too. Up there, mate. <laughs> Someone said my hair's just for fun, surely. It's just for fun. No, sorry. And then third prize is a set of stickers. Once again, they will be the new vinyl ones because these are... Um, it's really hard not to get glare on them, but these are premium quality. They're really good, aren't they, these yeah, ones? Yeah, really happy. A lot more hard wearing. Yeah. So primarily, this is for fun. So that is it for the prizes. Oh, they're getting all excited <laughs> in the group chat. There will also potentially be a booby prize, but... It's not, I'm keeping that for myself for the minute. Yeah, it's, to ourselves, should I say? Not I. I don't want it, but <laughs> we will let you know what it is tomorrow night. <laughs> Ollie's just sent me a message. What is it? <laughs> he wasn't complimentary about how Teddy Roger looked. Yeah. <laughs> right. So we, I think we've talked enough. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's just see if any more in the chat. Yeah, it's getting real now. So yeah. I think we've waffled on enough. There's no set time um, for each question. We're just going to repeat the question t twice and then move on. Uh, we will recap at each of each round, but at the very end, you can ask us to go back if you're still unsure on something. In the five five minutes that we've got at the end. So, yeah. pens, paper, forms ready online. Let's get ready for the first round, which is... Food, food and, drink. and drink. Let's play the jingle. Oh, I was going to press it as well. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> okay, round one. Pens and paper at the ready. Question one. Mushrooms need sunlight to grow. True or false? Don't write the answer in the live chat else Callum will discipline you to the highest order. So that is mushrooms. Do they need sunlight to grow? Is that true or is it false? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Another minute on that. Not a minute. But... A little bit of time to talk amongst yourselves as you're playing in teams. <laughs> okay, I think we're ready for that. Again, we will recap all these at the end. Next one. Which vitamin is the only one that you will not find in an egg? Emphasis on not. That which vitamin is the only one that you will not find in an egg? Feel the tension. Can you feel the tension? <laughs> A little bit of time to Google, says Bruce. No, no, no Bruce. <laughs> okay, we're moving on to question three. Which meat is used in the classic Welsh Glamorgan sausages? Which meat is used in the classic Welsh Glamorgan sausages? Sausages. Sausages. What was that? Walls. Was it walls from that dog? Yeah. <laughs> I'll be careful that you don't give any answers away. Yeah. Not that you would have in that, because yeah. they haven't got much options, but just, just be cautious. Okay, I think we are moving on to question four. How many litres are there in a magnum of champagne? How many litres are there in a magnum of champagne? Says us, <laughs> swinging on Aldi cider. Okay, we'll give you a little longer to think about that one. <laughs> Stag, behave yourself, please. <laughs> okay, I think we can move on to question five. No multiple choice here, I'm afraid. Cheaters. <laughs> Question five is that's you. This you is me. 
I found this round the hardest when Meg, Meg wrote the question, so I found this round the hardest. So don't feel bad if you're currently thinking you're on zero. So question five is which pungent plant has its own festival held on the Isle of Wight every year? Once again, that is which pungent plant has its own festival held on the Isle of Wight every year? You have no champagne. <laughs> <laughs> the chat's gone very quiet so you must yeah. all be um putting your thinking caps on which is good which is good next one i think so question six the cocktail ingredient grenadine <laughs> is obtained from which fruit so again the cocktail ingredient grenadine is obtained from which fruit No calling a friend. I must admit, yeah, Lee, this is hard. I personally think, well, it, it depends what you know, doesn't it? I found the food, the food and drink one very tricky, I must say. It's not my forte. Well, you'll have to give us feedback. If it's too difficult, we'll have to do something about it for next time. <laughs> okay, moving on to question seven. Yeah. Which British beer famously has a blue five-pointed star? On its label. So that is which British beer famously has a blue five pointed star on its label. Nice and testing. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely the taking part. <laughs> That's the important part, Jacob. <laughs> uh, we've also realised since going through this quiz again only moments ago that it's quite UK centric. centric. Yeah, um, that's probably our fault, isn't it? Because that's what. Oh, well, yeah. I, I, we know a lot of the audience is from Britain. Yeah. Um, but not everyone is. So. And I've kind of written this like I would for the family to do when we were in our previous lockdown location, um, when we we're in Sardinia. Mm. Next question. Are you ready? Question eight What is the name of these Portuguese sweet treats? And I'm going to switch it over to a bigger picture. Oh, yes, please. What is the name of these Portuguese sweet treats? Obviously, um, once again, spelling is not an issue. <laughs> as long as you can make up roughly what you're trying to say, that'd be fine. Do it phonetically, if you know the answer. Leon and Meek, you should know this one. Yes. I'm going to be upset if you don't, actually. Yeah. No more than that. <laughs> too, too much of a clip. <laughs> oh, they say they know that one, so that's good. That's good. Nom. <laughs> Fitness forest. <laughs> Next one? I think so. So, question number nine. From which type of flower does a vanilla pod come from? That is, from which type of flower does a vanilla pod come from? I've had this question before, and I was like, stumped. I'm being careful to see what the answers <laughs> are. <laughs> I'm teetering. <clears throat> okay. Right. So, the last question of this round. Red Stripe is a popular beer brand that originates from which country? Red Stripe is a popular beer brand which originates from which country? A little minute on that. Bruce Bruce thinks he's got one there. That's good. Um, Lee, press submit, potentially. Um, we'll go over the first round questions again in a second. We've got a whole page. So if you need to, we can uh, jog your memory. And you might have to just fill out again, but we'll keep track of that. So the next one, next uh, slide here is just a recap. We'll just give you a minute or two on that one. Read it through again. Yeah, quickly. Hopefully you can see the questions on your screen. They might be a bit small, but hopefully you can see it. So question one was mushrooms need sunlight to grow. Is that true or false? Number two is which vitamin is the only one that you will not find in an egg? Three, which meat is used in Glamorgan sausages? Number four was how many litres are in a magnum of champagne? 
easy for me to say. Uh, number five was which pungent plant has its uh, very own festival held on the Isle of Wight every year? <laughs> well, you can do the next one, Zen. No, I'm laughing at Stag. <laughs> I've only got my name right so far. <laughs> um, um, quickly, grenadine is obtained from which fruit? That's question six. Question seven, which British beer famously has a five, has a blue five-pointed star on its label? Name the Portuguese sweet treat. Little picture at the bottom for that one. From which type of flower does a vanilla pod come from? And then question 10, Red Stripe is a popular beer brand that originates from which country? So anyone that's playing on our <coughs> uh, web page, press submit now. Yep, submit the forms now if, if you've got all your answers or as many as you can filled in. Um, press submit. That'll send us an email and fill in our um, our spreadsheet. And then I think you have to click. I put a little button to click in. It'll take you to another one. Just a fresh uh, fresh form. Again, put in the same name you used and same email address so, it's, so we can track yeah. everyone. But anybody else that's playing with pen and paper, write one to ten ready for your next questions on the next round. As Jamie got a bit delayed. I mean, if you want to start now, we've only done round one. Yeah. Um, the general consensus on the chat is that they were odd, so there's a chance you could be in still with a chance, so yeah. don't I, stress. As I said, I found food and drink very tricky. I thought if the whole quiz is like this, it's going to be a nightmare. So, Jamie, if you wanted to jump in quick, grab yourself a pen and paper, or um, have a, if you're watching this on a laptop, get your phone ready and in like notes or a draft email. Yep. You can start from round two. There's a chance you still might be in with a chance of winning Teddy Ralph. No, not Teddy Ralph. He's not up for grabs. Teddy Roger or Teddy Robert. Yeah. So don't stress too much. And and I, it's all for fun. It's right. all for fun. I think we're going to move on to round two in a second. Um, so the jingle is on its way. <laughs> yeah, and ready. we want to see you dancing at home. Once again, at the very, very end, if there's anything you want us to recap question-wise, then we will. Um, but we've... we've um, <laughs> We've just got to get moving, I reckon, onto round two. Run to the fridge quickly, Scandy van. Yeah. You've got, you've got the jingle to get there and back. Three, two, one. <laughs> so round two is going to be film and TV. I think this is a lot more of a friendly round for everybody. Um, Hopefully not too UK centric. I think there might be it might be a little bit though. I but... think it's mainly big blos blockbusters. <laughs> <laughs> too, too much of the Taurus. Um, yeah. So is everybody ready for round two? And um, we'll just wait for the chat. As again, there's a little bit of a delay, but we'll just make sure. Scandy van. Just give us a thumbs up when you're back from the fridge. I know how important these runs are. I think we might have to go in a bit. <laughs> Fantastic travelling. Say they're going to shine in this round, so that's good. Game on. Game on, game on. All right. Okay, let's oh. go for question one of film and TV. -na 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 -na. So question one. Name the film from this clue and quote. It's a 1995 film starring Mel Gibson. And the quote is, every man dies, not every man lives. Really lives. Really lives. It's, no, because if you misquote it, then it's harder for them to guess. <laughs> so that question again, properly. <laughs> Name the film from this clue and quote. It's a 1999 film starring Mel Gibson. And the quote is, every man dies, not every man really lives. That was better. I've got it wrong. In practicing as well, so I should have known. <laughs> um, so that's a bit of a throwback. That one, yeah, ninety-five. I think a few. Pe I think a few people were feeling confident. Anthony Phillips, if you, we will accept answers on Messenger. If you could do it in one big long message, or at least each round. Yeah, or um. Or take a pit, write it down on a on a piece of paper and send us the picture. Yeah, or a screenshot of your notes on your phone, yeah. whatever's easiest. Or copy and paste it, I suppose, as well. That would work, I suppose, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, but if you could, like, collect it at least into each round, but ideally all of it at the end in one go would be great. But then I suppose if it's a lot of writing, then it'll be a too long a message for Instagram. Okay, do you want to move on to question two? Best dad, is he back from the fridge? Hopefully. As he's going to be angry. 
What is the name of the fictional paper company in the office UK that David Brent works for? What is the fictional name of the paper company in the office UK that David Brent works for? <laughs> Sorry, too busy reading the chat, make sure. <laughs> okay, question number three. Which sport is the subject of the 1993 film Cool Runnings? As which sport is the subject of the 1993 film Cool Runnings? A bit of a classic, hasn't been on TV for a while. Yeah, we, when we have rainy days or there was exams on at PE, we used to sit and watch this. Really? Mm. Oh, God. <laughs> right, question four then, peeps. Which colour pill does Neo swallow in the Matrix? Which colour pill does Neo swallow in the Matrix? <laughs> We've all gone very quiet here, haven't know, we? Yeah. So, I think we'll move on to question five. Yeah. Get on ready. Question five. Which of Disney's seven dwarfs does not have a beard? So which of Disney's seven dwarfs does not have a beard? Again, I found this one hard. <laughs> Drugs are bad. Don't run about the pill, I think. Right, next question. What is the main pub called in Peaky Blinders where the Shelbys meet? I think um, Leon and Meek of Fantastic Travelling have been watching this. Yeah. Have they? Yeah, they have actually. I think so, but Stags I... called us out. That clock we were supposed to say at the beginning, <laughs> do not look at it because it is wrong. I think I've damaged it somehow in transit and it will no longer tick correctly. We are live. This we isn't pre-recorded. You should know this by what it looks like. <laughs> so what is the main pub in Peaky Blinders where the Shelbys meet? Yep. Next one. In total, how many episodes of Game of Thrones are there? So in total, how many episodes of Game of Thrones are there? Na 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 na. Haven't got a jingle for that, have we? <laughs> you get copyrighted immediately yeah. if you played that. I can't wait until we can watch, forget about it so much we can watch it again. Mm, it's good. Good. Next one, Zen. Oh, this is a mouthful. <laughs> the Return of the King, the concluding part of Peter Jackson's The Lord of the Rings trilogy of films, was released in which year? Basically, The Return of the King was released in which year? that haven't watched Game of Thrones before. Yeah. Your wild stab in the dark, Paul Doxy. Yeah, it's a, that's a tricky one. I was, I've was i watched all of them. I didn't get a bob on. I was close when you tested mm. me. Because I've been the, pin, the guinea pig for this, um, this <laughs> quiz. Right. Question nine. What animal is Mr. Jingles in the 1999 film The Green Mile? So, what animal is Mr. Jingles in the 1999 film, The Green Mile? I read that one all right, didn't I? <laughs> Give a couple more seconds. No, yeah, never says so. Yeah, I guess it's hard if you haven't seen these, then it's going to be a bit tricky, but... You'll have oh. a round, Paul, honestly. <laughs> you get, I know you know stuff, so don't you worry. So, question 10. Which cartoon character lives in a pineapple under the sea? And on a <laughs> tough question. <laughs> well, I mean, some people won't know I that. think this one, this one, if they've got kids yeah. or grandkids, you're in it, or you might have even watched it yourself. Which cartoon character lives in a pineapple under the sea? You look very, very white in this, isn't It's good, at least it's <laughs> not red. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll just... <laughs> Paul knows this one. So a little uh, recap. Someone's asking us to sing it, but I'll give it away. 
<laughs> so the recap um, for this round. Name the film from 1995 that uh, Mel Gibson starred in that has the quote, every man dies, not every man really lives. What is the name of the fictional paper company in the office that David Brent works for? Uh, we've got which sport is the subject of the 1993 film Pool Runnings? Which colour pill did Neo swallow in The Matrix? That's question four. Question five was a tough one with which of Disney's seven dwarfs does not have a beard? I'm not sure. Do we need to read any more out? I'm conscious that we're just taking up precious time. Yeah, maybe we do these quicker. Go on then. Uh, so what is the main pub called in Piggy Blinders where the Shelbys meet? In total, how many episodes are there in Game of Thrones? The Return of the King, the concluding part of Peter Jackson's The Lord of the Rings trilogy of films, was released in which year? Wow. That's question eight. Question nine. What animal is Mr. Jingles from Green Mile in 1999? And which cartoon character lives in a pineapple under the sea? Okay, so if you are on our webpage again, press submit, reload, fill out your email address and your quiz name. Yep, I've noticed that there's already a few emails coming in, so that's good. Yep. It seems to be working. And then get ready for the next 10 questions, people. And the jingle. <laughs> Can't hear it. Can't hear what's going on. Right. So this round is general knowledge, which Meg has used a picture of. <laughs> My mum's just calling us Richard and Judy. She, she doesn't have YouTube, so she just messages to let us know. This is general knowledge, encapsulated by a picture of the earth. <laughs> uh, behave. What well, general knowledge can expand beyond our own. Not in this quiz. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Uh, once again, if you're online, get the new form ready. Uh, it's five rounds, um, Jacob. Yeah. <laughs> Judy on the left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we, we, we're over halfway. Well, coming towards halfway. And, yep, get ready for round three. Question one. Which artist created Campbell's Soup Cans in 1962? Quite a tough question to start this round with, I think. So that is which artist created Campbell's soup cans in 1962? If you did GCSE art, I think you'll know it. <laughs> Thank you, B. Appreciate that. <laughs> right then, question two. Who was Henry VIII's last wife? Who was Henry VIII's last wife? People are uh, <laughs> getting some answers in now. <laughs> General knowledge. I, uh, we'll have to uh, have a feedback session at the end and see, was it a little bit too too hard or too UK-centric? Or we'll, we'll discuss it. Question, Question three. <laughs> <laughs> so this is another true or false. The can opener was not invented until 45 years after the tin can. So is this following statement true or false? The can opener was not invented until 45 years after the tin can. You went very heavy on the tin cans in this round. <laughs> For some reason. What can I say? I like my tins. <laughs> Question four. Which part of the body produces insulin? Or more to the point, which body part produces insulin? That's right, that's right. Thanks for the uh, encouragement. <laughs> I'm glad uh, you think we're doing all right. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry to see you go, Jane. You can send us your answers, whatever you have, anyway, because you you could still be in the runnings. You never know. Oh, yeah, if you did well in the first couple of rounds. Next question. Uh, which country was the Hawaiian pizza invented in? Possibly should have been in a food round, but it was too good one to miss out, I'm afraid. So, sorry. <laughs> Meg's getting a bit tipsy, so check <laughs> <laughs> What country was the Hawaiian pizza invented in? Kirsty Hawkins. No answering in the <laughs> um, chat. This is your first warning. <laughs> um, 
So we'll let that sit for a second. Hope everyone's keeping up. <laughs> <What is that? laughs> okay, Aaron, next. Pancreas train station. Right, question six. Which country is the natural habitat and home of lemurs? Which country is the natural habitat and home of lemurs? If any van adventures, you go for a tinkle if you need. But we will. Um, if you go one at a time, then at least the other might be able to answer the question. <laughs> but we will recap any that need to be recapped. The Aldi cider is like Stella. <laughs> 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 this isn't a good advert for it. <laughs> right, moving on. Question seven How many people have walked on the moon? Question seven How many people have allegedly. Walked on the moon. Don't start with allegedly. <laughs> well, it's a conspiracy. It's a... Yeah. Let that one sink in. Um, we haven't planned for an interval, Antoinette, but we'll see. We're not far off from the end, to be honest. It's nearly an end of round three, then we've got two more, and we'll try to get through them quicker. Uh, maybe we won't recap as much because. Uh, if you need an interval, type yes right now. If you want an interval, if there's more than seven people, we will do an interval. <laughs> I'll make it up as I go along. Next question. Oh, oh. next question. In what London street did Sherlock Holmes live? In what London street did Sherlock Holmes live? Lee, we'll go over question three again. Um, at the end of this one, maybe at the end of this round, we'll have a little, a little interval because I see one yes coming in. So we'll have a, a quick break then. <laughs> that was question eight. Question nine. Where is the smallest bone in the human body located? So that is where is the smallest bone in the human body located? I think I guessed this one right, actually, in, in, the, in the practice. Yeah, I think <laughs> we'll, have a quick, we'll uh, have a quick break at the end of this round, then. Question 10. Which year did the European Union first introduce the euro as currency? In which year... Yeah, in which year did the European Union first introduce the euro as currency? This was a tricky one. I think I was off slightly. Um, I bet not, actually, because I'm just going to give people yeah, a, a rough idea. I think we've got submissions coming in off the website. Yeah. Let's give it another minute on this one, and then we'll flick. Get ready, Lee, for question three again. Yeah, so we'll go through these this recap slowly and just take a couple of minutes, so if people want to go uh, put the kettle on, get a drink, etc. Hopefully a quick kettle. We haven't got all night. <laughs> yeah. We've got to start marking. We're going to be up to God knows what time. So question three again for you, Lee. True or false, the can opener was not invented until 45 years after the tin can. Are you closer to the nether? Oh, when it came in, is that the Euro? When the Euro came in. Oh, I thought right. Well, you might actually you might be able to pinpoint that answer then. Does anyone else need a recap of anything previously from the other rounds or from uh, round three? Or are we all yeah. good? I'll just flick, sorry, we go down, yeah, flick the page. Um, questions about lemurs. <laughs> The stag, you will also uh, be booted for profanity in the chat. <laughs> unbelievable. Lowering the tone, stag. <laughs> so now's the time uh, for a quick refill, quick toilet break. Um, no Googling. Yeah, Bruce. press submit now, please. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll just hover around this page. Has anyone got any questions for us whilst we're here? Yeah, put the kettle on. What should we do? What are we now? Um, we'll give it a minute. Yeah. 
Like I said, um, these stickers, mm. hopefully, we'll find a way of, um, if anyone wants a new one at some point, um, we're going to give some of these away as prizes, but as they are a lot better quality than the paper ones, we'd like to, um, whoever wants an updated version, it's a bit more robust. What? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Stop looking at your phone, it's really, I'm you're looking lying. at how long we're, <laughs> we're doing this interval for. 45 minutes we've been okay, on, so. Right. During the interval... How did you meet? <laughs> Work. Wow. It's in, not... in this January, we've really been together, we've realised, for five years. Wow. Wow. In it, <laughs> in, no, I mean, most of that was converting a van, like, travelling for just over a year. Mm. Seems mad, doesn't it? Yeah, we met in a pub. I was the chef. You were the barman. I had this hair. <laughs> Irresistible. He also had a BMW was it? Was Z3. Z3, um, which what girl doesn't want to ride around in a... You weren't so impressed by the Citroen Saxo, were you? No. <laughs> I, didn't really, I don't think I remember the Citroen Saxo, really. I had to start it with a screwdriver. <laughs> <laughs> it was not a very fancy car, I'll say that much. <laughs> um, yeah, actually, yeah, the Christmas tree went up today. We mm. went and picked up... Um, about a three footer. Um, that looks quite nice. Meg's decorated it. We'll we'll show people that. It's quite early for me, I think, because we're not quite in December yet. But um, I think twenty twenty has been that kind of year where you just want a bit of fun and you know, get the tree up. Mm. Um, B Callie wants to know we've got to decide for her tonight: curry or pizza. Mm. Mm. What kind of pizza? What kind of curry? I think I go curry. I tell you what. I don't know what I was going to say, <laughs> but be, I was just saying, last night we had a, a sort of curry thing and Meg put full, I thought they were red peppers, it turns out they were full red chilies. And what did I do? Ate the whole thing. Yeah, ate the whole <laughs> thing. I was sweating. Um, I was just like, it was unbelievably hot. <laughs> want to share with you, it's, uh, name and shame tonight. This is our friends Kate and Lewis. Enjoying their uh, <laughs> their dinner <Quiznet>. and quiz night <clears throat> all in one. Thank you guys for joining us. The Slamming Egg Company. I think the general consensus is curry. <laughs> Just, uh, catching up. Right. I think we've had, a, we don't know exactly how many people are paying online, but we've definitely had a few coming in. Mm. Oh, just checking. Yeah, curry. <laughs> Living life, I've just peed like a horse. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think Teddy Robert might want to go to Spain, to be honest. Oh, yeah. He wants but, to get his speedos on. I mean, Teddy Ralph's seen it all, hasn't he? Mm. He's he came with us every step of the way, didn't he? He's um, he's a little bit thin now, isn't he? He's got, this is ours. This is our, ours to keep. This is Teddy Ralph, and he's a, I don't know. I think we, it's, I think we need to pinch some stuff in out of him so and put it in that. Yeah, Teddy Ralph is very slender. I mean, he doesn't sit up anymore. <laughs> he's been on the Aldi cider as well. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, are people ready for the jingle and for round four? We'll just make sure everyone's everyone getting their beers in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hello, Bex, Fork in the Road. Lovely to have you with us. Ready for the jingle, darling? Um, no, no. Just sent via messenger. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I've just jing- seen it. Jingle on. I want to see you dancing at home? I can't really, but we can pretend. <laughs> I can't even remember what the jingle sounds like anymore. <laughs> okay, so round four is <clears throat> geography. Geography. Pens and paper at the ready. New form if you're online. <laughs> Question one is, <laughs> what country has the longest coastline in the world? What country has the longest coastline 
in the world. That picture isn't necessarily of that country. I just thought it was a nice picture of it the is, coastline. It looks to me like... Wales. This is an answer. No, it looks a bit like Portugal to me, or Spain. Yeah. Some of those massive beaches. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Not the answers, though, let's, let's be real. No. Well, it could so, be. So, uh, ready for the next one? Yep. I've noticed that, uh, if they, come on, I'm letting the kids stay up until we finish. That's big, smelly, rangy. <laughs> I hope you go to bed nicely after this, little, <laughs> little tinkers. Right, question two. Mount Vesuvius casts a shadow over which modern Italian city? That's Mount Vesuvius catches... <laughs> I knew you were going to mess that up. It's casting a shadow over your pronunciation. Mount Vesuvius casts a shadow over which modern Italian city? Emphasis tonight on modern heats. Quick question. Can everyone read the text okay? Is it worthwhile us doing, I think it is, isn't it, doing the text and PowerPoint us. presentation? Yeah, I think it is. Question three. Oh! Again, spelling can be a little bit loose on this one, phonetically, if you want. We want to know, what is the name of this famous German castle? Made it big screen for us. Yeah, it's a beautiful place that we've seen, haven't we? Yeah. Not giving away the answer, but... We were there. We've seen it. We saw it and it was a bit more autumnal than that, wasn't it? But still. And a, sh and a quite a lot of scaffolding. <laughs> just just like the Disney best. princess story. Yeah, uh, self-censored there. Yeah, our people are saying the stream looks okay half and half. I, we, we quite enjoyed it. It wasn't too much work, was it? Just um, technically trying to get all to mesh was tricky. Ready for yeah. question five, are we? Or... I think it was five, was it five? No. Four. <laughs> <laughs> What is the UK's most southerly <laughs> city? It's southerly city, but I can't say it very easily. What is the UK's most southerly city? Most south city. <laughs> oh dear. Let me have one. Castle Grey Skull. Good guess, good guess. <laughs> Question five. What is the tallest building in the UK? Question five. What is the tallest building in the UK? I haven't. <laughs> Next one. Ready? So, question six: Which island to the south of India used to be called Ceylon? Yes, we had to double check its pronunciation. Which island? <clears throat> which island to the south of India used to be called Ceylon? Again, we might give it a little bit longer for that one, a couple of seconds, I think. But not time, that's not time to Google. Ready? <laughs> <Should we do? laughs> Question seven. What is the oldest recorded town in the UK? What is the oldest recorded town in the UK? Again, the UK-centric. Um, Round is back. Apologies. Yeah. We'll try and diversify it if we do another one. <laughs> yeah, we'll make it stag, we'll make it. Which lake holds by far the largest volume of water in the UK? Which lake holds by far the largest volume of water in the UK? Living like might know the answer to that last Wee one. Hee -hee. That's a nice picture. It is Again, nice... not necessarily of the lake that we're talking about. But it is a nice picture. Even I want to run and jump into that water. I'm calling <laughs> that a lie. <laughs> okay, moving on to 
Question nine. Sorry for this, Forrest. This is a bit tricky, this one. In which year did the rail services commence operating through the Channel Tunnel? So in which year did the rail services start operating through the Channel Tunnel? I thought this, these, there's a few van lifey questions for like people, yeah. people to get from the UK. Um, yeah, it's um, a tricky one. These are ones I would, I, w I wouldn't have an educated guess at, really. I could ballpark it, but yeah. I have nothing in my knowledge that say, yeah, I remember that or. Mm -hmm. Next one, question 10. Name the Cornish town that has a moor named after it. Question 10, last one of this round. Name the Cornish town that has a moor named after it. Just leave that on the screen for a couple of seconds. That's the Kearney. Kearney, Kearney flag, flag. Are. Shout out to Cornwall, which are in tier one. Found that out this week. <laughs> uh, don't want to talk about it too much, of course, <laughs> because... Uh, we know probably how the rest of you are feeling about it all, so... Cool. We're getting plenty of form submissions and messenger, yeah. so... Recap of questions. Very quick one if anyone needs to see... Uh, do we have to read them out? No, we'll just leave them on the screen because okay. we'll do it at the end. So, if any questions one to five are there, picture of the castle, and questions six to ten... Oh, your phone is red. I know. <laughs> Emails and Instagram messages coming through thick and fast. Best lockdown quiz I've been on. Thank you. If that's to us, I'm not sure if you're talking about other things in the chat because that might be <laughs> awkward. <laughs> if it's not aimed at us, I apologise. But if you are enjoying it, that's good. Give us a thumbs up if you can see that little button. That'd be good. Yeah. But um, we've got 32 likes at the minute. Which is mm, good. Thank you very much. Yeah. If you've been playing along. Feel free to wait later on and, and like towards the end if it's if you've got to close this chat screen down. So make sure you've pressed submit submit on round four. We are now on to our last round. Last round. So get your last form ready. Um, Fitness Forest. You might still have Teddy Robert. <laughs> you never know. You never know because we don't know how well people are going to do. What's the last round? I can't remember. Good question. Well, Music. Music is the last round. Oh, best bit of music is the jingle. You ready? Oh. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> so, hello, Douglas. Evening, everyone. <laughs> so this will be uh, the last round. Ten questions once again. Um, <laughs> there will be no music being played, I don't think. We haven't got anything like that, have we? So, uh, don't be... worry, Bruce, you're a <laughs> death <laughs> puzzle. <sighs> right then, question one. Are we ready, everyone? I say fingers on buzzers, but that's going to confuse you even more than <laughs> you already are. So question one. Since its debut in 2015... Hamilton has become one of the biggest musicals of all time. But who wrote it? Once again, since its debut in 2015, Hamilton has become one of the biggest musicals of all time. But who wrote it? Um, big smelly rangies, children, please settle down. <laughs> this is your warning. Dump the pug will lick you to death. <laughs> <laughs> right then. Question two. What song is the all-time most streamed song on Spotify to date? What song is the all-time most streamed song on Spotify to date? So if you can get a song name and an artist, that would be wonderful. But if you are in the ballpark, we'll probably give it you. And then how we feel. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that worked, telling the kids. 
I am yeah. on hire as nanny if you ever need me. <laughs> um, charge through the nose though, but uh, I can cook. I've got a food hygiene certificate. Question three, quick, quickly. <laughs> what is the name of the Beatles' first album? What is it, Josh? <laughs> I think I'm more Ringo, to be honest. <laughs> Play the drums just as well. So, what is the name of the Beatles' first album? Mum, if you're watching, you might know this. You might have been about 40 years old at the time. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't getting no Christmas presents. <laughs> um, yeah. Ready? Yeah. Question. Oh. It's your question. <laughs> oh, right. This one is a tricky one. Get ready. Name the song and the artist from the following lyric. Maybe I'm foolish, maybe I'm blind, thinking I can see through this and see what's behind. Once again, we may give half points if you can, because you've asked for the artist and song. Yeah. But we'll give half points, I think, for that. Yeah, because it's, um, it's a tricky one. Yeah. So the lyrics again, maybe I'm foolish, maybe I'm blind, thinking I can see through this and see what's behind. Uh, Stag just said sing it for us, but it's so hard not to sing. Oh God. <laughs> uh, this is what you're supposed to do, because the amount of times I read that and just sang it, I do <laughs> quite well. We were thinking of getting a guitar up for the music round, mm. maybe next time. Put in the comments below if you want Cal to do a little bit of a jam for you. Some people are recognising that tune, I can see. Oh, that's all right, then. Question five. Gordon Sumner is the real name of what, which, what famous British musician? Musician. <laughs> <laughs> I trip myself up. I'll repeat that question. Uh, Gordon Sumner is the real name of what famous British musician? I nearly said museum again. <laughs> Next question. You don't want to hear me singing. Guitar. You, no, you don't want to hear him sing. I could sing this one if I grow my hair out a little bit longer. <laughs> a bunch of pair of glasses. <laughs> question six. John Denver's Take Me Home Country Roads is about which US state? I want to sing it, but that'll give it too much of a clue. It's a bit of a classic. This song should possibly be on if it's not already on our... Um, Road trip. Yeah. Spotify playlist. Yeah, Leon and Meek. We'll we'll, share, we'll send you the song later. <laughs> it's a bit of an old one. It's a classic one. Well. The, the picture might give it away. So moving on to question seven. Who is the former drummer of Nirvana and currently fronts the Foo Fighter? On the Foo Fighters on guitar and vocals. So who is who is the former drummer of Nirvana? And who now fronts the Foo Fighters on guitar and vocal? He added I think, more to that question. Yeah, but I don't exactly think it was. Did. I don't think it's written quite right. Give you another minute on that. I think I think people know that one. I, yeah, I think they will. It's there's at least one point in there for someone. <laughs> Next question. Question eight. What was Frank Sinatra's <laughs> middle name? That's a tough one. Did you know it? No. Be a guess. <laughs> <laughs> what was Frank Sinatra's middle name? People saying it's easy. I'm happy about that. Is that this one or the previous one, though? Uh, probably previous. I think this one's tough, but we tried to like get questions from multiple uh, decades yeah. because we didn't want to just do stuff that we know because it sort of alienates a lot of people. We tried our best, but this one's, I wouldn't, I didn't know this one. Stag wants to let you all know that this is the most fun he's had with his clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> question nine. Who had a hit with You Can't Touch This in 1990? Oh, this is an odd one, not to sing. So in 1990, who had a hit with the song You Can't Touch This? <laughs> Let that sink in. 
we're getting close to the end of the uh, quiz now, I think. Last question coming up. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. It's gone quite well, hasn't it? Although we did start the stream without actually streaming for a few minutes. Good job we noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> right then, last question, question 10. Oh, oh I'll do it. Who sang the song from the Titanic movie, My Heart Will Go On? Again, very hard not to sing this one. <laughs> People are asking you to sing it. Get your little penny whistle I'm out. I'm just about to do that. <laughs> uh. Who sang the song from the Titanic movie, My Heart Will Go On? Mr. W said he's been naked for the whole quiz, so can't say the same. <laughs> <laughs> So this should be a semi-easy one to end on, I think. Big song, probably number one for 20 years. 20 it? years? It felt like a long 20 time. 20 years? You know what I mean. So I think that is it. We've got email <laughs> submissions coming in, so I think people have finished the quiz. Um, if there is a tiebreaker stag, we will be doing that live tomorrow night. Yeah, we don't know what we're going to do um, because... We'll have to figure this out, won't we? Because I think we'll go with, like, um, uh, whoever gets the closest to the answer. So, say it's, like, a number. Okay. Um, yeah. Send in, and then, yeah, that, that would be good, I think. I've, I've thought about it. Harwich Live Through the Lens said that was their round. That's good. I think some people would have clawed back some points there. What um, was question five? Oh, here we go. There we go. So, question five, Fitness Forest, was Gordon Sumner. Is the real name of what famous British museum? <laughs> <laughs> Who's that is? I knew it. Musician, musician. <laughs> we'll leave it on screen. Uh, Darren said there was plenty of room on that door. Yeah. Which... Uh, Scandy Van wants to know what was question four. And, oh, that was the song. Name the song and the artist for all the following lyric. Maybe I'm foolish, maybe I'm blind, thinking I can see through this and see what's behind. The phones are red hot the minute people are sending in their answers, which is great. I hope we yeah. have... The clock behind's knackered. It needs to, it needs to go. I've yeah. tried putting new batteries in it. I think I've damaged the hands. <laughs> yeah, not, not everyone's around the music, unfortunately. <clears throat> Power it's life through the lens. They've got an empty bottle of Chardonnay. Enjoyed that. Thank you very much, guys. Yeah. Well, Hello, the Mobs Grove. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. Uh, whilst we start wrapping this up, um, so the format was okay. The questions they need, if we do another one a little bit tinkering, what 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 would be your cra constructive criticism? Yeah, constructive um, criticism, feel free. We've enjoyed this. It's probably gone on a bit longer than we thought, but we waffled on, didn't we? Yeah. Um, but that's the end of the quiz. Let's just do this, and then we could just yeah. flick to us chatting, <clears> can't we? Yeah. So this is the end of the quiz, everyone. You now have five minutes to press submit on the last round form for those who are doing it on the website. And for anyone with pens and paper at home or any other medium, you need to send it to us at either our email address, which is vwflora at gmail.com, Instagram, which is vw underscore flora. Um, just have a look if you're sending that as a picture. Make sure it's not got a time um a timer on it because sometimes when you send stuff a bit like whatsapp uh the it'll be only on screen for like five or ten seconds we could do with longer than that to be quite honest um uh or facebook um send the picture or whatever you need okay yeah. so um, five minutes get yeah, them in unfortunately i've covered i can't i, might, I don't want to press mute them uh webcams i don't know if that's going to break the software <clears throat> unfortunately so it's gonna be tricky to show that um oh yeah i see what you mean yeah it's a bit tricky for me to oh, i didn't think about this <clears throat> that's the only um... slide that's not quite right but i think most people have got the gist um no postal entry <laughs> trade unless there's a cash incentive for us to sweeten the deal Yeah, VW quizzes. Oh, yeah, VW based. Yeah, we didn't want to make this, well, we didn't want to make it about us and our travels because not everyone's seen everything and, you know, it's a bit mm. narcissistic to do that. Can um, I express the answers in the medium of dance, says Jane? Feel free. Yeah, bonus points, <laughs> half a point. <laughs> uh, yeah, we enjoyed that. 
Uh, Leon yeah. and me have just asked. Yeah, buzzing, um, buzzing as always. The way when we come off um, off from a live, it's like we just the endorphins are going in it, and it's like it's good fun. It's a bit of a blur sometimes, yeah. isn't it? But um, we had we had fun putting it together. We've been thinking about it for a while, and it's just nice to do something for um, you guys that watch regularly. Something fun for us to do and for you to enjoy and sort of just have a bit of fun with, really. Yeah. Um, so the email again, everyone, is vwflora, v-w-f-l-o-r-a, at gmail.com. Oh, I can do that. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh. There you go. <laughs> have we moved? Have we moved? Yes, we have. Can the wandering that? wildings have got their eye on Teddy Robert. <laughs> so hopefully you can see that info at the bottom of the screen now. Um, yeah. And as far as I said, they would recommend to a friend. Oh, that's very <laughs> kind of you, darling. Um, yeah, so what, we're happy to stay on for a little bit. Answer any of the questions you've got about um, the UK, our UK lockdown yeah thingy so we'll just um that's the end of the quiz everyone thank you very much um we'll give it a little bit longer for the submissions to come in i haven't particularly pressed a timer because we all want to make sure that you're a part of this um kiddies it's off to bed now good night sweet dreams let's go full screen again hopefully that worked <laughs> someone snoring <laughs> um yeah that was good fun actually we didn't know how long that was gonna take um yes thank you everyone for watching if you could press like on your if you exit before, exit now because the the um <laughs> the quiz is finished please give us a like if you have enjoyed yourselves tonight Some, um someone's asked if doug is a prize um no, tony the owner not. might be watching it <laughs> top prize <laughs> he is a prize boy but he isn't up for grabs <laughs> I'm surprised you might have heard him snoring throughout that. Um, yes. Yeah, Lee's asking about van upgrades. We're in the process of talking to um, the guys who did our uh, window for the sliding door. We're going to probably go for um, windows in the barn doors at the back and a um, fan slash vent in the top above the cooker. And we want to do that in one foul swoop, hopefully. So we're talking to them. That will hopefully be early next year. Yeah. We're wanting to go back to Van House to have that done, so yeah. we kind of like a few emails have been exchanged. Um, what else? We need to. I think we need to redesign the table because it's not most comfortable for the amount of time that you spend editing and stuff. And also um, to allow air through, the sliding door needs to be open, and it just doesn't work with where you're sat. Yeah. Um, what was I thinking? Did, what did I read before? Um, oh yes, uh, the caravan Christmas tour is coming up. We're going to be filming it hopefully tomorrow. On Monday, so that'll be coming up, and um, a little sneak preview into next week's video. We're going to be doing a live stream, hopefully, pardon me, with um, a Leon and Meek from Fantastic Traveling. We're going to be playing a bit of a game of van life, Mr. and Mrs. So we've kind of started the chat about that. We've done a bit of planning, a bit of prep, um, so that's what we're going to be doing next week on Sunday evening. All got to be properly planned and stuff, of course. Next Sunday, not this Sunday. Um, so, yeah. Good night to AV Min and Poke. The kids are off to bed and they said thank you. Pleasure. Night, night. Someone asked who wins out of a fight between me and you and everyone's saying that you do. Do you think I give up a good? Oh, uh, yeah. The thing is, you're strong. Wait, are you, talking, got... are you talking physical or mental? Oh. oh. <laughs> you're strong. <laughs> no, I'm not. In a, in a fight, verbal fight. What are you talking about, physical? Are you talking about physical? I don't know, I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> well, don't say it to me then. Uh, if it's verbal. Well, I'd be dressing up as Santa. Um, so I haven't quite got the physique for it. It's only me and you in this caravan anyway. Yeah, I think book, Meg might know. The book. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, not many presents under the tree this year. got our email we'll just double it. check whilst we're on um you have a look at that oh beck sent her answers in 
So um, someone did ask, uh, I think Stag asked, uh, we'll try and stream live uh, the results. Oh, need to make that live. Yeah, we'll be streaming the results tomorrow. Um, a little bit of a chat about 7 p.m. for the answer. Well, not all the answers, maybe some of the funniest. Um, we won't name names. We're not going to shame anyone's answers. But Aww. we'll all have a laugh with it. Only and, if um, we know that you're keen. I know someone I want to pick on already. <laughs> Um, so that's that. So results show tomorrow night. Hopefully most people can make it if they want to, but we'll get in contact with the people who've won because we've got your details if you've sent us um, stuff digitally anyway. Is that the last slide of the, of the quiz? That one is. Mm, look at that. Yeah. High um, quality, that. Yeah, it's a nice one. <laughs> <laughs> no, we've had a really good fun. Um, uh, are we planning on doing any more cooking videos, says Anna? Uh, yeah, but... We're really struggling <clears throat> for time. Um, working full time again has been really tricky. Um, we've got loads of ideas we want to do. We just haven't pulled the trigger on many of them yet. Um, so eventually there'll be a flurry of videos. Hopefully, we just got to find our uh, rhythm with everything again. I think. Harwich Life has got a lovely Mrs. Claus outfit. I can borrow. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe. Ryan and Alison, Longman Music said, good work, guys. Oh, Don't try and right. batter us up. We're going to harsh you, uh, mark you very harshly. Harshly, very harshly. <laughs> harsh you, I'm going to harsh you. <laughs> I haven't even drunk that much cider. I think See you later, Jacob. Have a lovely night. Thanks for joining in. Hope you had a good uh, quiz. Hope you enjoyed it. Yeah. See you later, Mr. W. Fitness Forest. Just read your comment. We yeah. will we will be in touch. Yeah, we've got um we've got another live video coming up in about a week. Is it next week? Yeah, I have said this already. Oh did you? Oh yeah. I must have been reading those. About Mr. Oh, okay, I, about Mr. okay, Mrs. sorry, I, I was Oh crikey. <laughs> Who doesn't listen? Mr. Yeah, so that should be fun. Um just to have a sneak peek. Can you see I've got hundred and thirty emails. Have you? Yeah. My phone's been lit up. This is going to take us hours. <laughs> it's going to um, be like teachers. Yeah. Oh, we divide that by five, though, don't we? Roughly. So. Oh, yeah, possibly. So that's not too bad yet. Feel free. Um, if you're ready for bedtime, feel free to log off. Thank you for joining in for the stream and quiz. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, we'll be posting results tomorrow, as we said, hopefully, about seven o'clock. Yeah. Um, Join us live again, because it's been great fun. We, we do enjoy having everybody on with us yeah yeah we we always do um enjoy going live and we're tempted to do it more often but we don't always have something to say or do, do yeah we? So, yeah <laughs> um but yeah we're doing our best to get videos out each week last week we failed but again i think we've decided we want to do quality over quantity and really give you guys something that's nice to watch and meaningful not just yeah blah. yeah so, but there we've, we've enjoyed it, haven't we? Yeah. It's just finding the time. Indeed. Well, I think that's us for an intention, yeah. right? Yeah, we've got to go check our Facebook messengers and emails, Instagrams, because we've had a few. I don't know exactly. I think we had about 70 sh people watching the stream, so... Um, we shall see. Bruce wants us to confirm who lives in Pineapple Under the Sea. Not I don't know if we can at this time. No. <laughs> yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should have moved that. We noticed that early was in in the site of the stream and we should have moved it or got tighter. Oh, Doug's asleep. <laughs> Doug's asleep. Oh, he's asleep with his eyes open. Oh, watch your leg a minute. <laughs> they want to see you, pet? Oh. <laughs> Say hello to everyone. <laughs> He's very sleepy, bless him. Oh, you're lovely and warm. So, oh, yes, you are. Oh. Right then, we're going to snuggle with the snuggle pug. Cheers, Stag. Hope you enjoyed it. Harwich Life with the Lens. Yeah, hopefully, do it again. Hopefully, everyone can join in again. Good night, Lee. Thanks for joining in. Thank you, right. Phil and Phil Rogers. Phil and yes, Sarah. Sarah. Yeah, Phil and Sarah. Um, <laughs> night Meg, night Ringo. <laughs> <laughs> right then. 
Toodle Pip, everyone. Have a lovely weekend, and we will see you tomorrow night for the results. Thank you. How'd you stop this thing, Cal? <laughs> as bad as we started it. <laughs> right then. We'll Bye. See you tomorrow. <laughs>